That is definitely not what you wanna say when you get into your PA school interview. What's up you guys, it's Donna. I am back with another video for you guys. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the PA school interview. I got my interview, I was really, really excited. Um, I did a lot of research. I looked up, um, you know, PA school interviews. I looked up on um, different forums of uh, PA school interview forums in a sense, like just trying to get a taste or an idea of what to expect in the PA school interview. And I got a lot of good information. I thought, you know, they talked about um, understanding what a PA is, be, knowing that they are uh, dependent, knowing that they're dependent um, practitioners and, you know, things of that. But it was like outdated. That is definitely not what you want to say when you get into your PA school interview. Do not talk about being a dependent practitioner. Um, that is not what you are. We are so much more than that. Um, and PAs are moving far away from that terminology. So that is something that you definitely do not. If you look up those forums, don't use that terminology. But I did my research. I tried a lot of different things. I looked at little uh, PA school questions. It was it was a lot, but none of that information came up in my PA school interview, you guys. It was actually pretty nerve wracking trying to prepare for it. I One thing I highly suggest you guys doing is going to AAPA's website and looking up the PA history. If you don't know much about PA history, like I had not known once I went to my interview, like, don't be like me, you guys. Do do your research on the profession that you're trying to get into. I remember I was in my interview, like we were in like the group, just like everybody's in this big room together. We're getting the welcome and they're like, the director of the program is talking about, he's like, who is the, the founder, the creator of the PA profession? And everybody's like, Eugene Stead. And I'm like, <laughs> you're like, I'm like, watermelon you know like when you're singing y'all say watermelon and it looks like everything every other word and that's literally what i did because i did not know who the founder of the profession was like are you serious Adana? you're trying to be a pa and you don't know the roots 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 are on fire the roots the roots the roots man Get out of the roots! So definitely guys, go ahead and do your research. Go to AAPA's website. They will have information on the history of the PA profession, um, the founders, the first military guys that went into the PA program um, and just get all that information and run with that. Knowing about OTP, definitely, definitely know about that. That is something that PAs are super, super, super very proud of well a majority of them some of them are still on the fence but knowing what that means and you know opt optimal team practice and what that means for the PA profession as it goes forward he can't go wrong with that in my interview we came in it was all of us in one room then we had um, a tour of the program and the facility we had kind of like a welcoming statement about the program and what they do in that particular program we had our like our single like personal one-on-one -on -one interviews and they kind of did like a round robin where you went to three different rooms with different professors in each room that asked different questions and you know they you you answer them to the best of your ability don't be afraid just take a moment think about the question and then answer it and you will do fine i know one of my questions was like oh so you know pa school is hard what would you do if you got a c or if you got an F on um, a project and you had to think about that because you're used to getting really good grades so they want to know how are you gonna operate when something doesn't go your way or you're dealing with stress so think about those questions and answer them truthfully and you will do great and then we had the group interview session at the end of my uh, PA school day and that was great i love that i think i thrive in those sessions but that was that was just a great opportunity for me to you know glean from other people understand how they're thinking they want to see you in a 
team setting, but also be able to say my own points and um, I loved it. So that's kind of how I ended the day group session. We came back, they said everything and I like, guys, make sure you do this. So before I even got into the program or got in, got to the school for the interview, I already had thank you cards. And what I did was every instructor person that I met that was in the program, I wrote their names on a thank you card and I wrote thank you to them for allowing me the opportunity to interview with them at this program. And before I left, I dropped it off at the front desk and I gave it to them. I highly suggest you guys do that. Give, have your thank you cards ready for everyone that you interview with or anyone that's in the program that you interacted with because it's only gonna make you that much more memorable in their minds because they're gonna be like, oh, who is this? Oh, that's who it was because they have a picture of you. Um, so we're gonna be like, oh, it's her. She's the one who did this. And that's just that the next step um, that people are gonna remember. And you wanna be memorable because trust me, they see hundreds of candidates, so you definitely want to be memorable. So that was my interview session. I am gonna do a video about the actual group interview because I know a lot of people have anxiety about just being in a group setting and a group interview. Nothing to worry about, you guys. You guys are gonna do great. Um, but I'm just gonna give you a couple tips that I held on to or that I used while in my group interview session. So stay tuned for that video. Um, I will leave a link for it somewhere in the description box so that you guys can get to it um, once it is completed. All right, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Join me on this journey and we will have a blast. I will see you guys next week. Later!